What's up guys? Welcome back to Bucker Mike Motors. We are here today at IAA. First video at IAA. It's gonna be a quick one because I got here late. I didn't realize our viewing hours stop at two and it's like 145. So we got two cars to check out quick. I already found one of them. So we're gonna get to that one right now and hopefully I can find the other one quick or else it's gonna be a one car video because we're running out of time limit today. But let's get to this first one. Which is a 2015 Volkswagen Passat clean title and the two that I'm coming here to look at today I am very highly interested in bidding on about equally this one maybe a little more because it'd probably be a little bit better of a flip like I'm looking for but the other one well you'll see in a second why but this I really like the Passats and I also in being such a rush to get here I forgot my grip for the phone so if the video is a little bouncy more bouncy than normal I apologize I know I'm still working even with the grip to make it a, a little more smoother for you guys but it might be an even a little bouncy today because I'm trying my best here with my hand, so I do apologize, but I really do like this car. Uh, IAA here, where we are in Gulf Coast, Mississippi, does not allow you to use jump packs. So they do allow you to actually try to start them, which the Pensacola yard doesn't even let you try to start them, if, even if they have a good battery. But they do let you try to start them here, and we will hopefully get this thing to start because if not, we're going to just be going by the small video they provide you online that's kind of... You know, it's, it's tough to judge by a 10 second video how good or bad the car is mechanically, but that's probably, that is what we're gonna be left with if we can't get this started. So, quick walk around. I just noticed that it does have a nice ding here. Nice dent there, another small one here. Has a matching set, I believe. Uniroyal, yeah, matching set. Uniroyal Tiger Paw tires with good tread. Date code is from 2019, 27th week of 2019. And it's a, it's a, I'm not sure why this is here. I thought it was a repossession, but it's not listed as really anything other than damage as other. So, and a clean title. So I don't, let's see. Okay. We got power, at least a little bit of power, enough to open the trunk there. And there's the floor mats. A few other things. The spare tire looks decently clean. Smells actually good in the trunk. And the rest of the car oh i just noticed this too i walked right by it that first time guys that's why you really got to walk around these things a few times and really absorb it this uh looks like something took a pretty nice scuff and pushed this in here it's not just the door it's actually the uh rocker panel there too and probably yeah the door jam here as you can see it's gotten pushed in right there the door seems to open and close okay and the inside of the car does smell good too but we are gonna like I said, we're on a time crunch today, so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can start this up. Actually, we'll check the, is the hood. Yeah, hood's unlatched. So, let's see. Engine looks clean. It's a, this car, if I didn't mention it already, has about 90, I think 99,000 miles, almost 100,000 miles on it. Battery is from 2019, 1219. Coolant looks good. It's on the minimum part, but it is in the overflow tank and it does look clean. It does look clean. Yeah, it's a clean coolant. Check the oil. Definitely, definitely. Want. Uh, oil looks, it's, it looks over full by a little bit. You see it's up to about here on the stick and up there, right here is the top for the normal mark. So a little bit concerning, a little bit concerning. All right, well, I guess we'll go ahead and try to start her up here quick. And if not, we're gonna go find this other car, hopefully pretty quickly. Oh yeah, guys, the Passats too. I really, these things are just comfortable. Good gas mileage, good driving cars. I mean, no complaints at all from these things. Someone's got the wheel cranked all the way over right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to put the phone down here for one second. I'm sorry get this wheel oh, whew. that thing was cranked over there it does have power let's see if she'll start up see how she sounds i'm holding the brake turning the key it's in park e-brakes even on uh, must not be enough juice for it to start well there you go hey we got a broken knob here not a big deal 
Interior is very clean, smells clean. Headliner's in good shape, seats aren't ripped or torn. Oh, guys, all right, well, I want your opinions on this one, guys. Would you bid on or not? Like I said, it is clean title. Don't know why it's here. I thought it was a repossession. Maybe it's, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm going to have to go back and look again, but from looking before I came here, I did not see any, uh, any specific reason why it was here, and there's no seller listed on the sticker either. So, oh, actually, pedal. There you are. I lied. Pedal LLC. So that is also a little concerning. Usually, sometimes the uh, cars with issues go to pedal. So... You guys let me know. What would you bid it to, if anything? I am highly considering bidding on as long as it stays cheap enough to where I feel comfortable. I have enough room to fix a couple things if I have to. So, guys, let me know what you think. We're going to go find this next one. And our second one, we found it. It was actually right across from the one we were looking at. Is a 1996 Jaguar Vanden Plaza being sold by Mason's Motors. And this thing... It looks clean and this is it looks clean in the pictures too it could be deceiving just like this did not see this in the pictures as i'm saying that caught me caught me there and it's a perfect example of why you got to come out here and check these things out but it really uh it's still the body lines are clean on it and this is just <laughs> i like these things they are big old cars and if you know the jaguars i mean they're known for their luxury and performance and sometimes electrical issues <laughs> and hard to fix problems and expensive parts but i am very interested in bidding on this one and only if it uh, here's another dent and ding here as you can see it's got tires from the six week of 20 on it at least on the front here some viva three all seasons and got some different be up good riches here on the back but good tread Take a look underneath here, see if it... You guys tell me what you see. See any rust or anything to be concerned about? Because if it's rusty, I am. That's one thing I will not mess with. It's cool here, look at the gas tank. <laughs> Little flip, flip lid on the top of the, near the trunk there. And I can, this was one of the things I was most excited about. <laughs> The interiors on these things, I mean, 1996 interior. This is uh, pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's like a little mini time capsule. And we will definitely try to start this one up. Someone looks like they have an aftermarket deck there. Oh, it's a cool car, guys. I hope we can maybe win this thing cheap. It's listed as inoperable, so we're not gonna, yeah. It's completely dead battery and we're not gonna be able to do anything there but look at these memory seats in 96 i mean that had to be something like one of the higher up options it's got nice wood grain steering wheel it looks like there's the mileage last in 2021 it looks like i had 179,000 miles so i'm guessing with that miles and this kind of car thing probably needs an engine you probably gotta definitely assume the worst with this and that you're gonna be in the cost of an engine to get this thing repaired and fixed so that being said i definitely would like to see the engine on this but that's probably about as far as we're going to get for this one big old back doors look at these covers someone had on the seat here oh, that is cool it smells good in here too guys i mean it smells it kind of smells like 1996. <laughs> a little bit of an older smell but still smells good I'm not even sure. Oh yeah, look at that. Backwards opening hood. And you got this big old four liter V8, or uh, eight, straight eight, I believe. And I don't know much about these, so correct me if I'm wrong. I am not, never claimed to be a master on 1996 Jaguars. This is probably, actually, this is the first time I've ever seen one of these in person, up close in person like this. So I see, when I see something like this that I have never really seen before, I just start looking at things and thinking man bet that costs a lot of money I wonder when that was replaced that's probably about to break i i just <laughs> I, i've been through it with a lot of cars before so it's left a little bit of an impression on me but this thing really does look clean you got the frame here and the, every i don't see a spot of rust on this this would be a great candidate to bring back and have uh you know redo the engine or dare i say ls swap it 
No, this wouldn't be a candidate for an LS swap, but I, at least in my opinion, this would be something you want to keep more original. But And obviously, it's probably been painted before, so it probably needs to be painted again. But the paint that's on here, other than the back near the trunk, is really in good condition. So maybe it was kind of parked underneath something towards the front. But that's about as much as we're going to get a look at this. We'll pull the oil dipstick on it quick before we go. And the trans, just to see. Because like I said, I would like to bid on this vehicle's cheap enough. Oil is right where it should. Well, on the bottom end of the low mark and really dirty. All right, well, there's a quick update. The video ended right there, and I didn't mean for it to end right there. A loader driver pulled up behind me, and I thought he was about to tell me to leave. So I was, because it was a few, couple minutes after 2, it was about 2.02, .02, and I was just getting ready to leave anyways, but I thought he was telling me to leave and I was checking, when I was checking the oil, but he was actually telling me that the car was listed as a no start only because they never were able to put a battery jump pack on it because they couldn't figure out where to put it. And it was, they just didn't know where on that car you jumped the car from. So it still could potentially be a non-runner, but they didn't, it's listed as inoperable, not because they tried, it didn't start. They couldn't even get the battery pack jump pack on it. So we had a little bit of extra info there that you guys didn't get on video that I thought I just must have pressed the button on my phone as I turned around on accident because I didn't mean to stop recording, but it did. But I just wanted to fill you guys in that that's what happened. And then right after that is when I was walking out. So that's, uh, you'll see the end of the video right now where I was walking out, but I just wanted to let you know that that is what happened when the camera shut off. So hope you enjoy. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it. We're out of here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, it's my dog's birthday today too. He's, I got a German Shepherd named Tyson. He just turned eight years old today, May 4th. So wish Tyson a happy birthday, guys. <laughs> really appreciate that. Appreciate you watching the video. Uh, sorry it's a little quicker today. Only had those two and you know, kind of running under the gun for time, but we got them in. Let me know what you guys think about them, the Passat and that Jaguar, if they're worth bidding on and what you bid them to. And as always, stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one.